everyone, Nicholas JMV here. Welcome to Theoretical Probability Concept 1 here. So what is probability? Probability is the measure of how likely an event is going to occur. Okay, The set of all possible outcomes is called the sample space. Okay, And then for equally likely outcomes, okay, the theoretical probability of an event, okay, P of E, right, probability of the event occurring is the ratio, so fraction, okay, of the number of favorable outcomes to the total number of outcomes possible. Okay, that's the sample space. So let's look at some of the examples, okay? So the probability of an event occurring. These are simple events when one event is going to occur. So a jar contains 32 red marbles and 28 blue marbles. What is the probability that a randomly selected marble is red? So we're looking for the probability of a red marble being drawn. So the numerator is going to be the number, the, the number of favorable outcomes. The favorable outcome in this case is red marble. So we're going to have 32. That's the number of marbles we have there over the total. Now the total we have red plus blue. 32 plus 28 is 60. So that's the probability of us drawing a red um, out of the bag or the jar. Okay, so that simplifies to 815. So you want to simplify that out when doing probability. Okay, so a day in the month of March is randomly selected. What is the probability of selecting a prime number? So the probability of a prime number. Prime numbers are numbers that are divisible by themselves and one only. So there are 31 days in March. I should know my, day, my birthday is the last day of March. How many prime numbers are between 1 and 31? There are 11. So the probability of a prime number being drawn is 11 out of 31. I've got a couple more examples for you. Two dice are rolled. What is the probability that the sum of the two dice on the next roll is at least 9? Um, so we want a probability of rolling something that's greater than or equal to 9 here. Okay, so how many possible outcomes are there? Well, if you're pairing die together, you have like, you know, you could draw a snake eyes. Uh, the first die could be a 2, then a 1, then a 3, then a 1, then a 4, then a 1, and it, oops, 4 and 1. This is the first die, second die. So there's actually 36, okay, cases where that happens, okay? So we're going to look at 36 total possible outcomes. How many of those combinations have a sum greater than or equal to nine, at least nine. So at least nine. So you you know you have four and five, you know four and six, okay. And then you would have you could have three and six, okay. And you could have five and, and, and six and things like that. So if you add all those up, you get ten. You get ten out of thirty six, okay. And we can simplify that again into five eighteenths, okay. So there you go. That's the probability that the sum that you're going to, the sum on the roll is going to be at least nine when you roll the two die. Okay, a letter in the word restoration is randomly selected. What is the probability of selecting a vowel? So the probability of a vowel, okay? All right. Now the probability of a vowel, okay, happens to be there's five vowels, okay? And how many letters are in restoration? There are 11. So the probability that the letter that you draw as a vowel is 5 elevenths. Okay? And so that's just simple probability. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know, and we'll see you next time.